kidding. I'm super excited for this. Um, I haven't done a book haul in a while because I'm trying to scale back, but I just got a bunch of books for Christmas plus a bunch of books I bought myself. Um, and it was time to do a book haul, y'all. Book haul, y'all. So here is book haul number 14. <laughs> I have more book hauls <laughs> than I do like wrap ups. You know, it's a thing. Okay, enough wasted time. Let us get going. Nine of my books are all in the same series, which if you've watched the last two videos, you probably know what they are. So I, on a day in Barnes and Noble, was looking for a trashy little story and I decided I wanted to do a paranormal romance and I picked this little book, Dark Lover by J.R. Ward, which was the first in the Black Dagger Brotherhood about a group of brothers who um, hunt vampires and keep their little world safe. Um, that one's about the, the king of the world finding his queen. And then the next, ah! there it went. Anyway, I bought the next eight books in the series and I read four of them last month. I gave them all four stars. I thought it was a fun little trashy series and I had a great time and I won't take no shade because sometimes your girl just needs a little mind numbing enjoyment and I like it and the characters I'm in it for the brotherhood guys I really am so far besides the like two of the romances it's mostly been about the brother relationship for me and I, I love it so it's great one more like romance I have is Someone to Hold by Mary Below. I really need to read this one because it's all wintry. I think it was even a Christmassy one. Um, but this is the fifth book in the Westcott novel series, which I've been slowly reading lately. I love it. There's so much snow outside. I keep saying that in all these videos. But anyway, super good. Can't wait. So excited. All right. Also, I've talked about this in like five videos before, but I bought The Hobbit and I've talked about it in a bunch of videos. So that's all I need to say reading that. Um, what else is really obvious? Oh, yes. Oh, no. I am a hot mess. Okay. A cold mess because it's cold here right now. Um, I bought books two and three and I also have four and five but they're not here yet, they're at the post office. In the Steel and Fire series by Jordan Rivet. I'm loving it, I'm gonna read the third book in January, um, but I read the first one and halfway through it, I was like, uh-oh, I need the next books. And I did that. So this is a self, this is the self-published author. Check her out, she's cool. Audio, I'll put this up, I bought Elantris. Um, I'm reading this in January as well. Um, liking it so far. I'm not buying the hard copy because I should be getting an annotated version from Murphy. So I really need to stop like double buying the books that I get from her. So that's so excited. First, I got My Dear Hamilton by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoir. This was a challenge for my dear friend, Sarah. I love you, Sarah. Mm, hugs and kisses. And I said I wanted a book for Christmas. And that is a challenge because what do you buy a girl who has everything? More books. That's all I want. So she's totally into Hamilton. So I think that's why she picked this. But it's cool. I'm up for a historical um, story. So we'll give this one a go. Obviously, this one says it's a novel of Eliza Schuler, Schuyler Hamilton. <laughs> I knew her name was Skylar. Okay. Don't hate me. So anyway, super excited. Thanks, Sarah. Um, also, I got the Three Musketeers for my sister. I forgot this in my car. And as I've said, there's lots of snow. But my sister bought me this. Thanks, Beth. Love you. Mostly because it's a classic she wants to read. Um, and I'm totally, I'm totally into it. We just, um, Sarah and I had just watched The Man in the Iron Mask. And so... I kind of want to read The Three Musketeers and then I think it's called 20 Years Later is the sequel that has like the man in the iron mask in it. And I want to read 12 classics next year. So that's perfect. I'll probably take that one on in February or March. Not sure yet, but I'm going to do that. Um, then I had a secret Santa this year um, and her name I think was also Jennifer. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, it's spelled different than mine, but I think that we're both at Jennifer's. She just has a cooler spelling than mine. Mine is so 90 is just 
plain, whatever. But she got me some lit, some books from my list as well as a couple of her favorites and I love it. So I'd ask for The Imposters by Scott Westerfield. This is supposed to take place in the same world as The Uglies, which if you saw my previous book haul, you'll know that I picked up that whole series. I read it in middle school and it was my first dystopian I ever read, which is cool. I didn't even know that's what it was called back then because I was just a little noob. Um, but I really was wanting this, so I put it on my list. Look at that pale blue. Um, so anyway, I'm excited. I don't know much about it. I just had seen it, and I put it on my list because I want to read it. So then she's, she also got me Uprooted, which is on my list. I have Spinning Silver, have not read it, but the covers for these are so pretty. Um, so this one's by Naomi Novik, um, and this one is about Agnieszka. Um, and she lives in a quiet village, but the corrupted woods stand on the border full of malevolent power. In its shadow lies over her life. Her people rely on the cold, driven wizard known only as the dragon to keep the woods' dark forces at bay. But he demands a terrible price for his assistance. Every ten years, one young, young woman must be handed over to serve him without questions. Super cool. Again, I just put books on this list that like I wanted but like didn't want to buy for myself and she definitely answered. And then she gave me two of her favorite books, which that that's what I wanted is like I want people's favorite books. So she sent me The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which you'll see. It's already on my list for January. This was a book I wanted to read, but I was a little scared because I heard it made people cry a lot. And I'm a weepa. So but yeah, it's beautiful. It's going to happen. I'm going to read it. And then she sent me The Cruel Prince, which she said was one of her favorite. I know The Wicked King comes out soon. Um, I already had a copy of this, but um, I'm going to keep her copy and I'll probably give the other one away to someone else. Because to me, it's so much more special when someone gives you the book. So forget about the other copy. I want yours, Jennifer. So much more important to me. I picked up the bear and the nightingale and the girl in the tower i know the third book comes out soon i heard these are cool i heard they're russian fairy tales um i love that stuff they also are such pretty covers i know one of my girls hannah who was like my first booktube friend she loved these books um and i know the winter of the witch is coming out soon so these are by katherine arden by the way i know they have something to do with like household gods and people aren't praying to them anymore so then they get angry maybe i don't know i don't like knowing a lot about my fantasy i guess which is a lie i don't know whatever sometimes i do sometimes i don't these ones I'd heard enough good things. I know they're good to buy. They don't look super long. They're only like 340. So I don't know when I'll get to these, but they were pretty and about them. Also, I already talked about this one. I bought I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. It's about the Golden State Killer. Um, I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to read this one in January too, but I'm going to take my time because it is heavy stuff and I just need to take my time were three books that I literally gave into the buy two get a third free at Barnes and Noble and there was two of them that I wanted and then the third one I just grabbed so I got watch me disappear by Danelle Brown um, so this one is supposedly there's a girl who went missing she went on a solo hike um, and then this girl named Olive starts having visions of her mother and she's gonna go try to find her cool. I don't really buy a lot of like thrillers or stuff like that but I don't know. I was in a mood. I have like all the same time. Then this one I'm excited about because I think they're going to be making a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and I've never read any Eric Larson and I heard he's really good. Um, so this one is The Devil in the White City, which I believe is about H.H. H. Holmes and how he was like murdering people who came to the World's Fair and then maybe about someone who's going to try to discover it. But it's really pretty. And I heard that Leonardo DiCaprio is making a movie about it. So I was in. And then this one I had to get because when Murphy tells me to jump, I say how high. And Bear Town was one of her favorite books last month and or of the year. And by Frederick Bachman, I know this is about a girl who gets raped by a hockey hero in the town. Um, and then the fallout from that. And I've heard, I've only read one Frederick, Frederick Bachman and it was the novella every day the way home gets longer and longer and it gutted me and I don't know if this one will do that but I thought I'd give it a try so that was like four books in a row that aren't fantasy so that's interesting one more chunk here I am actually doing better than I thought look at me it's because seven of those books were in the same series so 
Um, now we have a bunch of books that I don't know what they're about. So here we go. I grabbed Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. Um, this is about a girl who wants to be a royal explorer. And she goes on a trip. I'm keeping it basic because we're not diving into this. Um, this one I wanted to start another fantasy series. <laughs> Why? But I did. This is by Cinda Williams Shima. And it's called Flamecaster. The first of the Shattered Realm series. The back was what got me. A wizard print and print. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. It was blurred by Lee Bardugo. Okay. A wizard prince in exile, thirsting for revenge. A girl with a curse striking back against a ruthless king. Together, they will burn the kingdom to its rotten core. And I think there's like five books in the series. And they looked really beautiful. So we're going to go for it. It kind of looks like Selena, which was another thing. And no shame because Selena's BA. So if you could have school with Selena, I'm into it. Then I picked up the first in the Witcher series. I know there's a novella series first, but I don't do those. Sorry. I don't read the novellas when I don't know who the person is first. So this is The Last Wish and Introducing the Witcher by Andrzej Sapkowski. This seemed cool. I think Murphy read one of the first ones. But I also wanted some adult fantasy, so I grabbed that. Next, I have my two books that came from subscription boxes this month. That is Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. I got a really pretty ne I got this as a necklace in my box. It was really cool. Um, and I think this one is about a girl named Sylvie who wants to impress the empress i don't know i don't know it came in my box so i'll try it and then i got once a king by aaron summerfall i know this is set in the same place as like forever the brave and it came with oh i have this inside this is resand it came with really cool stuff in this box i just started lit crate joy um and i'm excited lit joy crate yeah um, but I haven't read the other two, so I don't know. I might read those first, but it's really pretty. It has a foil cover on the top. And then finally, I picked up this book because it was sold to me as like Guardians of the Galaxy meets The Breakfast Club. And duh, I'm going to get that. Um, it's called The Disasters by M.K. England. You also have a super cool name, M.K. M. K. England. It's called Space is Hard. Grab a helmet. I mean, it's called The Disasters, but that's the tagline. There we go. So I'm not even going to try to hold those books up because I'm crazy. But those are all the books that I bought over, mostly over December, I think. Um, and kind of the last books before my book ban takes effect. If you see my goal, well, it's not really a ban. It's just I'm starting an earning system where I need to read three books to buy one unless I have done something else to earn it like give books away to people who need them <sighs> it's a hard knock life okay anyway thank you so much for joining me as always um this has been the book refuge a safe place to talk about books and be nerdy thank you to all my new subscribers who've joined lately i see you i feel you feel your love um i put out new videos every monday wednesday and friday so if you've liked this please subscribe make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications and i'll talk to you later bye